Welcome to uh, session three of the Next Level Challenge uh, 2024. This this evening, I have a, a special guest with me. Now, I've had the uh, privilege of having played with this with this young man. Um, in actual fact, in my last year of being a pro, I'll just give you a, a short history about uh, Bryce uh, Lindis. You know, um, he started playing football at LFA in, in 2014, right? And uh, he had a, a career that, that um, lasted up until um, 2000. In 23, which is um, last year, he's gone from LFA to um, uh, SAB, ABC, um, and then to NFD. So he's he's experienced the, this um, journey, um, unlike unlike me, you know. Um, and that's a, a unique um, journey, and it's one that a lot of players um, share. Uh, so I've I've asked him um, to come and share about his um, journey and the uh, insights that. He has, he has, he has a glint, you know, from, from this. Hey, it's Nathan here. So what is the next level challenge? The next level challenge is all about you tapping into the untapped potential of yourself as a football player, as a coach, as a parent. Because we don't know everything, guys. I've been a footballer for 20 years and I still don't know everything. I've been a coach for a fraction of that time and I still don't know everything. I've been a parent for an even shorter time and I need to learn a lot more. So growth is a journey best shared. The Next Level Challenge is designed to help you get to your next level and to more importantly provide quality to those that you either coach or you, your parent yeah, or you as a football player because growth is a journey best shared. And the more you know, the more you can grow. So let's get you started on the journey towards your next level. And now, enjoy the rest of the video. Cheers, guys. Uh, Pricey, um, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. So just, you know, give us a bit of your journey through your eyes. Yeah. Uh, evening, everybody. Uh, Nathan, again, thank you for having me and being able to share my journey uh, through my eyes. Um, yeah, uh, like Nathan said, I started playing or taking football a bit seriously from 2014. Started my career at Reichersdal for a few and then went on to Old Mutual Academy. And I think that's where the journey of wanting to go pro became serious. Um, I had the privilege to play under very good coaches such as Ian Taylor, Noel Cousins, Dylan Dean. I'm sure everybody, when that names are thrown around, everybody is, a, is aware. Um, yeah, come from Woodstock. Um, simple journey, um, basic. I was so very grateful, privileged um, to have you know both my parents. Um, I think it played a big factor um, just on my journey from the support from behind. Um, I didn't want to go pro from the beginning, always had a passion for football, um, but I think as I got, like I said, from 2014, that's where the journey started. Um, to I can play on TV, um, I can play against the best, and you know that, that's why I took it a bit seriously. I, I train six days a week, that's what match day, um, three times a day, didn't do the party life because I was dedicated to what I wanted to be, um, yeah, and then just being in a professional setup from ABC to the NFD, it's it's difficult. Uh, it's it's not easy. Uh, I did struggle a lot. I'd say that the pursuit from LFA, Castle League, Vodacom, NFD, the NFD was the toughest. And like Nathan would mention, the fire phase, I was not prepared for the fire phase um, mentally. And then as the season went on, I didn't want to go to training. Uh, I was just, I was just there because it was difficult, you know. You're working on the pitch, off the pitch, not getting a chance, and then slowly but surely the passion of football faded. Um, it's gone now, um, but it's, it's, it's a grateful journey. Yeah. So I'm talking to all football players. I know that I know that I know that you know that you can provide much higher quality in your football, right? What if there's a way to increase that by 5x? Now, I've helped football players, both amateur and professional football, especially in South Africa, increase their value by 5x. How do you get them started? You simply click on the link below and let's get you going towards your next level. Yeah. And now, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So, so Bryce, I want to go back to, the, to that part where you had said that you didn't want to go pro. Mm. So, why? What, what, what was the, your, your reason behind playing the game of football but not really wanting to go pro? I'd say the influence of my father, he was a good footballer. My grandpa was a good footballer. My uncle was a good footballer. So there were just footballers in the family. And we were at the family club at the time, Wamos and Luke's, where every Saturday you're just on the field. And then that's where the love for the game started, but not necessarily 
not necessarily the lot or the, the GoPro. I was I'm just enjoying myself, meeting new friends, making new friends. Mm. I was having fun. And then when it came to the academy setup, hey, that's when it's a bit serious. You know, can I was the, the question was being posted because I was a striker at the time. And then, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was a striker. <laughs> I, <didn't really laughs> I, <was, laughs> I was a striker at the time. Uh, top goal scorer in the engine, my first one, 2017. And then made the transition to right back. And that's when I actually turned pro. When I didn't want to play right back in the beginning. Um, but I had a very good coach that didn't persuade me, but gave me an option. Either in, either out. Chose in, went pro. Didn't know how to play right back. Didn't know how to defend. I thought, but just applied myself and adapted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so at which, at which point, if you, if you, if you can um, recall, at which point in the, at that time when you, when you, when you, when you had a, a coach that uh, uh, believed in you? Because yeah, yeah. it sounded like you, were, yes. you had a coach. At what, at what point did you, you know, say to your, to yourself that you know what, um, I want to do this. You know, I can do, do this. And, and were you, were you prepared um, for, for, for that, that uh, switch? Prepared? No. Uh, I just thought that I might as well be optimistic. Just apply myself, knowing what I can do in, the, in that ability, um, and then just trusting my ability, and then also wanting to learn how to adapt in an academy setup. Because mm -hmm. LFA and academy, it's 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 different. It's what are the if you, if you can if you can just expand on the the differences? Uh, I think number one is there's basic fundamentals in the sense of off the pitch first, coming in the right training kit, being on time, uh, going through a I'd say a professional warm-up, uh, understanding what not to do before the warm-up, what to do after training, and then obviously on the field, the tactics uh, that makes everybody crazy. But, you know, that, that's where the learning happens. Um, and I think, like, that's, that's how you grow in a sense of as a footballer, learning not just your position, but also the other roles of the other players. Because you might find yourself there, or you might have to guide someone if you have that type of skill to you, you're out of your position and need to be there, etc. So, that's yeah.